How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to connect your Nook Simple Touch to Wi-Fi. Um, this could be either your home Wi-Fi or you could be at a Starbucks or out and about wherever. Uh, this will be how you will connect to Wi-Fi. So you're going to go ahead and tap your, your Nook button at the bottom here. And you want to go to settings. And you want to go to wireless. And so the first thing is you want to make sure that wireless is actually on. You might make sure this box is checked because if it's not checked, that means your wireless is turned off and you can't even see if there are any Wi-Fi or wireless networks around you. Okay, so make sure the box is checked and then you'll actually see some networks pop up. And the cool thing is that one, Barnes & Noble is already programmed in. So if you go to a Barnes & Noble store, it should automatically connect you to their Wi-Fi. Um, at my house, our wireless is called Miss Rudolph. So what we're going to do is tap on Miss Rudolph. And you'll actually put in the code for the Wi-Fi. I'm going to put that code in without you looking at it, if you don't mind. Um, type it in here. Okay. And there it is. And I'll have to blur that part out. Hide password. There we go. Then we're going to hit connect. And then now it will obtain the IP address and now it is connected. And the way you know you're connected is you'll actually see the Wi-Fi symbol in the corner. It'll look like this. And now you connect to a Wi-Fi. Now here's one more little tip. Um, sometimes people have hidden networks or maybe the network at your job is not broadcasted. So guess what? It may not be on that list of networks we just saw. So what you'd have to do is you'd have to actually tap add other network. And then you'd have to type in the name of the network exactly the way it is, caps or sensitive, uh, underscores or whatever, and then you'll type, uh, you'll tap on the little arrow. If it has security, you have to know what kind of security it has. And then you actually type in the password, and then it'll take you into that network. So that's all you really need to know to connect your Nook Simple Touch to Wi-Fi, and um, you'll be good to go anywhere you go. All right, and then if you want to turn off Wi. Wi-Fi, excuse me. Real simple. We're going to go back here and again, uncheck that box. Okay, so that's simple. Now, the reason you'd want to turn off Wi-Fi is that uh, your battery will last longer. I believe the battery will last up to like a month longer if Wi-Fi is turned off. So you don't always want to keep Wi-Fi on. You really only want to use it when you're downloading books. Other than that, if you're just reading, you don't need Wi-Fi to be on. So just a little tip right there. Um, and also, if we're like at the home screen, we're now on the settings option. If you tap at the top where you see the little symbol, you can actually turn off Wi-Fi this way too. Tap on the, the symbol, this will pop up, and then we can uncheck that box and then simply our Wi-Fi is turned off. Alright, so hope that was helpful. Um, if you found that helpful, can you like the video, subscribe to H2 Tech Videos, and keep watching. Have a good one.